friends, we are finally making frituras de maíz dulce. Let's go. Mm. These are some sweet corn fritters. This is how I make them and I hope you enjoy the recipe as much as we do here in our house. So what you're going to need is all going to be listed in the description below. I'm going to list all of the ingredients and all of the measurements. I'm going to be making it in the food processor just because I need to break up the can of sweet corn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with one egg and five tablespoons of sugar. Also, please make sure that you drain your corn. You don't want any liquid in there. I'm adding that in to my food processor and I'm gonna get that going first before I add in the egg. So let's give it a little, a little pulse. All right, that's good enough. I'm gonna add in one egg, one egg, straight in. And I'm also adding in five tablespoons of granulated sugar. Mix it up. Once that's all combined, I like to transfer it to a bowl so we can start mixing in our flour and the remaining ingredients. To this, you're gonna add half a cup of all-purpose flour. This is a quarter cup, so I'm gonna add two of these. Right in. And then you're adding half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and give this a good mix until your batter comes together. Once your batter looks like this, you're ready to start frying. This should be the consistency. Not too runny, not too thick. I'm gonna add some oil to a frying pan and I'm gonna wait for my oil to get hot and then I'm just gonna add in a little bit of my batter into the hot oil using a spoon. There's just a little teaspoon, you can use a tablespoon if you want, depending on how large you wanna make your fritters. You'll see when I drop it into the oil about how big I like to make them. You don't want your oil to be too hot because you do want the batter to cook through and you want like the outside to be nice and golden brown. So what I do to make sure that my oil is at temperature is I just take a tiny bit of the batter and I drop it in. See? When it starts to bubble like that and it kind of like rises to the top, I know that my oil is ready so I'm going to start adding in my batter. I'm going to take a teaspoon amount like this, like that. And I'm just going to carefully drop it into the oil and kind of move it around like that just to flatten it out a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my fritters here. And then once they float to the top and get golden brown on one side, which should only take about a couple minutes, I'll go ahead and flip them to the other side and just finish cooking them. Don't crowd your pan because you don't want your oil temperature to drop. So do about four or five at a time. You see, they shouldn't stick. You should just be able to move them around like that in the oil. And I just flip them with a fork. All right, you see this edge here getting golden brown. I'm gonna flip it. See, you see how that's golden brown? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the rest. All right, once they're golden brown on both sides, go ahead and transfer them to a plate lined with some paper towel just to collect any excess oil. Go ahead and finish frying the remaining batter. And if you do want to store the batter, you can. You can store it in the fridge. I would store it no more than 24 hours. So I only fried up eight fritters and I still have about half of my batter left. I'm going to cover this and I'm going to store it into the fridge for when my family gets home. I'll just have them like freshly fried for them. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. It's optional, but since these are sweet corn fritters, you can top them with a little bit of powdered sugar, just a little dusting. I like to do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then we're gonna get to the taste test. So I just have some powdered sugar here, and I am just going to dust a little bit over the fritters. And this just gives them a little bit of a fancier look, but it's totally optional. And now the most important part, the taste test. Let's see. Mm. Mm. You hear that crunch? 
The inside is perfectly cooked. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It tastes like fair food. So good. So simple, so inexpensive. Give it a try and let me know if you like the recipe, guys. Besitos.